We have been hiking since before the sunrise and now I'm watching the sunset and there's still so much more down. I want to get to that point where taking the next step hurts and you're almost not able to take that next step. Guys, I'd be lying if I said I was not very much struggling right now. Do you feel prepared to hike this? No. What did we get ourselves into? we go into the darkness. Hey guys, Hiking Ankle here. So today we're in upstate New Hampshire in the White Mountain National Forest, and we're going to be hiking the extended presidential traverse. Now, this is going to be an all-day death kind of hike. We're going to be going over 25 miles and have over 9,000 feet of elevation change in a single day. And we've done no formal trail running training leading up to this. So it's probably going to be the hardest hike we've ever done. We even had to start at 3.30 in the morning just to give ourselves enough time to hopefully complete it. Now the payoff, nine 4,000 foot summits that will hopefully make all the pain worth it. Let's get to it. So here we are coming right along the Madison Springs hut. And if we look off into the distance, that right there is Mount Madison, our first peak of the day. A little bit more to go. See there in the middle, that little tiny glimmer. That's all the water that's left in Star Lake. Why do you want to do this hike? I really don't know. It makes me feel better about my little baby. Because we do an endurance event every year. I want to get to that point where Taking the next step hurts, and you're almost not able to take that next step. Seems like it can be done. Washington, which is gonna be our highest peak of the day. And that's just about the halfway point. So that over there is Mount Madison where we just came from. If we look over here, I believe that is Mount Jefferson. That is where we are heading next. Made it to the top of Mount Adams. Peak number two of the day. Let's keep going to the next one.
Up there is where we're going. We look all the way back in our here. That right there is the path we took to get here. Curving all the way up the mountain back to Adams. Up there. So we just finished hiking up Jefferson. Right back there in the background. So that is our third peak down. Our fourth one is a little intimidating here. You can see it. That's Mount Washington. So here we have the option of summoning Mount Clay on our way or just going around it. I think we're going to take clay. So I've decided to do the optional summon of clay here. It doesn't add on really any distance. Just a little bit of elevation. If we look over here, the rest of our group up there wimped out on us. They took the detour around Mount Clay. So let's go crush this one. Do you feel prepared to do this hike? I do feel prepared. We were just on Adams and we crushed it. So, so uh, I feel like we're going to be able to crush it tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be a long day. But just keep trucking. Yeah, that'd be mine. If I said I was not very much struggling right now. <sighs> so, we have a lot more up to go though. That's today and many miles. So we're gonna keep on pushing on through the pain and through the struggle. So I gotta say, through the whole day so far, we've seen a lot of people on the trail, but what I'm loving so far about this optional Mount Clay Loop is this is probably one of the first times today that I am completely alone out here. You can see, no people. So, if you go hiking to feel that sense of being alone and not be surrounded by a bunch of people, I highly suggest doing the optional Mount Clay Loop. A little bit left to go until we get up to Mount Washington. Mount Clay right there is not one of our official peaks for the day. It's just a sub peak of Mount Washington. So we're going to call that peak number three and a half for the day. So right up here, we can see Mount Washington. And we can actually see all the different ways to get up there from this point. So Right in, right along there, there's a cog rail train, which you can take all the way from the bottom to the top. Over here, winding up the mountain, there's a road you can drive your car on up. Or if you want the full Mount Washington experience and hurt and years off your knees, you can hike up it like we are doing. Now we have met back up at the Gulf Side Trail and only 1.1 miles left to go to the top of Washington. We have caught back up with the rest of our group.
We started way over there. And we just came up this year up the golf side trail. And now we're on the top of Mount Washington. So we just got to the top of Mount Washington. Thank God there's a bathroom up here. That was much needed. So this is officially now peak number four of the day. And I would give you guys a 360 view, but as we can see, it's very crowded up here. So we are not gonna hang around too long. That right there is actually the summit sign. There's a huge line to get to it though. So we're gonna continue on because we got a lot more miles to crush. Let's get to it. Now we're gonna take Crawford path down, the Lake of the Clouds hut. And we have been hiking this whole time along the AT. So that's pretty cool. This right here is the Lake of the Clouds hut. Those two lakes we just passed are right next to it. And our next peak is right up here, Mount Monroe. So Bubba over there is going around the mountains for a little easier with that as we continue to slog up the mountains. I think you made the right decision here. Guys, I think I just found the most brilliant sight out here today. It's an all dirt path. Look at this. Not a rock in sight for like 20 feet. along Crawford Path here and we think this one off to the left without a sign is Mount Franklin. If we look way back here where we came from, that was Mount Madison where we started this morning. We are on the top of Mount Madison. It's a big dome. So we're at on like a singular peak. We get to walk all the way. There's the Karen in the middle of the dome. Peak number seven. We have finished the official presidential traverse. Now we're gonna continue for the extended.
So if we look out in the distance here, we can see that right there is Madison. That's the first peak we summited this morning. Right next to it over here, that is Adams. Jefferson is hidden behind. This big Daunton looking one is Washington. This one right here is Monroe in the distance. And this one that is closest is the one we just summited, which is Eisenhower. And now we're going to summit Pierce and Jackson and finish up the day. So we've hit the top of Pierce. There's our official marker. And if we look out at this amazing view, we're surrounded by trees. Mount Pierce, peak number eight of the day. One left to go, Jackson, we're coming for you. And here we are coming upon the Matza Springs Hut. We have been hiking since before the sunrise and now I'm watching the sunset and there's still so much more down. But if we look this way, look at all those mountains we did today. Damn, does it feel good. So we are on the top of Mount Jackson right now. This is officially peak number nine. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty much dead. Hardest, hardest hike we've done. Yeah. Hardest hike we've already done. This hike may have killed me though. I feel, I'll, I'll recover. <laughs> what did we get ourselves into? Oh, this one's coming back. Oh, TNT. <laughs> that scared him. So now that we are fully dead, That's we're gonna start our dent, descent down. See, I can't even talk anymore. That's how <laughs> tired I am. So we're gonna start our descent down back to the car where Bubba is waiting. Because after injuring myself, going up to the peak of Jackson and making the incredibly crawl slow crawl down here we finally hit the end i've never in my life been so glad to see a fire. i think you got that next one dick why you want you want to give you this bag